Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. This is the last video for chapter 2. We will learn about subtopic 2.5 compensation point in this video. Okay. Before we learn about compensation point, let's we dis let's discuss the light intensity and entertainment entertainment of compensation point in the in this graph. So, this is early morning, low light intensity, and then this is midday, high light intensity. During this phase, photosynthesis is lower than respiration. In this time, the leaf will carry out respiration, absorb oxygen from the surrounding, and release carbon dioxide to the outside of the leaf. Net loss in glucose during this time, which means glucose used in the respiration faster than glucose produced in photosynthesis because the photosynthesis is lower than respiration. Next, we move to the point, compensation point. Compensation point is the level of light intensity when the rate of respiration equal to the rate of photosynthesis. At this time, the leaf will carry out photosynthesis and release oxygen. All the, all the oxygen produced by the photosynthesis is used by the respiration and the respiration will produce carbon dioxide. All the carbon dioxide produced will be used again by photosynthesis. So in this time, no gases outside diffuse out or diffuse into the leaf. So at this time, the rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of respiration. Let's move to the next phase. When the light intensity continues to increase beyond the compensation point, the rate of photosynthesis becomes faster compared to the rate of respiration. At this time, the rate of photosynthesis is more than rate of respiration. Net gain in glucose, uh, which means the rate of photosynthesis exceeds the rate of respiration. At this time, the leaf will at this time, the carbon dioxide needs to be absorbed from the atmosphere to compensate the rate of its usage in photosynthesis because the photosynthesis is higher than respiration. Excessive oxygen is then released to the atmosphere. At the same time, the rate of glucose production during photosynthesis exceeds the rate of usage during respiration, use the rate of glucose usage during respiration, where there is excess glucose is stored is stored in the form of starch by the plant. So at this time, there there are oxygen released by the leaf to atmosphere, and then the carbon dioxide must be absorbed from the atmosphere into the leaf. Okay. Next, this is the graph, the, the light compensation point during a day. So, during dim light, during the sunrise and then, and then during the sunset. The rate of photosynthesis must exceed the rate of respiration every day to ensure the growth of the growth and production of flowers, seed and fruits to occur. This enable the rate of glucose production to exceed the rate of glucose usage and the excess glucose can be can be used for growth and development processes in the plant. At the same time, the excess oxygen from the photosynthesis is then released into the atmosphere to support other organisms. That's why we we have to we have to plant the green plant okay to obtain the oxygen teacher what would happen 
if the rate of the respiration and the rate of photosynthesis remain at the same at the compensation point. Okay, the production of the photosynthesis will be fully used for the plant respiration. That means there is no oxygen released by the plant. So, it will harm the other organism because it cannot act cannot obtain the oxygen from the plants. Okay, next. What is the comparison between the photosynthesis and respiration? So, this is the picture to show the process of photosynthesis versus cell respiration. Photosynthesis is carried out by chloroplast, by cell Cell respiration is carried out by mitochondria. During photosynthesis, light energy is absorbed, and then glucose will produce glucose. Oxygen and uh, oxygen and glucose will be produced, and glucose glucose and oxygen produced by the chloroplast is used by the mitochondria to release energy in the form of ATP and then the byproduct of the mitochondria for respiration is water water is enter the chloroplast and the carbon dioxide enter the chloroplast and is the, the carbon dioxide and water are used in the photosynthesis by chloroplast so this this is the cycle between the photosynthesis and respiration. So, let's discuss about the comparison. What is the similarity? Similarity of the this both process take place in living organism. Both processes involve the uptake and release of gases. And how about the differences? So, first Organism involved during photosynthesis, green plant and photosynthetic bacteria involved. Why during respiration or living organism involved? What type of the cell involved during photosynthesis happen in the cell containing chlorophyll, but during respiration happen in all cell. The type of metabolism of Photosynthesis is anabolism process, which is the synthesis of glucose using carbon dioxide and water. Why? The type of metabolism during respiration is catabolism process, which is the breakdown of the glucose to produce energy. The site of photosynthesis is in chloroplast. The site of respiration is in the mitochondria. The reaction substance required during photosynthesis is carbon dioxide and water. Why the substances required during respiration is oxygen and glucose. The product produced in the photosynthesis is glucose. Why the product produced in the respiration is the energy. The byproduct for photosynthesis is oxygen and water. Why the byproduct of the respiration is carbon dioxide and water. During photosynthesis, light energy is absorbed and converted into chemical energy, while during respiration, chemical energy is converted to ATP and heat in energy is released. During photosynthesis, require light, but during respiration, does not need light. Okay, with that, thank you.